Hey everyone, Liam here from Solitude. Thanks for tuning in to this video today and to listen to me chat about some of my thoughts about WA Music. And if you are a fan of WA Music, which I'm assuming you are because you clicked on this video, um, you might have noticed that over the weekend or the last week that RTR FM um, aired a countdown of the top 45 WA songs of all time. Now, this was to coincide with their 45th birthday, um, and I want to start off by firstly saying in this video, congratulations to RTR FM, and thank you. Thank you so much for being um, a medium for WA Music to get out there, to be heard. Thanks for being around for so long. Um, it's awesome that we have this platform. I know that Radio is a little bit of a dying breed now, and I've spoken about that in some of my other videos, but um, I definitely think that, you know, the groundwork that RTR has put in is to be admired um, for when it comes to um, WA Music and some of the artists that they have um, given a platform to in the local scene here has been excellent, um, and, you know, many of these WA artists that were um, first ever played on a radio station um, experienced that through RTR, so... Um, congratulations to RTI FM for being around for 45 years um, and yeah um, just great work in a lot of the things you do um, but then I also want to chat about this um, countdown they did um, and if you followed my um, channel since I've been doing it for a couple of years now and um, maybe some of you have also followed some of the stuff that I've done on community radio over the last um, well, I did community radio for about three years, um, and I started probably around 2016, 2017, I think I started around then, um, and you you followed what I've been doing um, on 89.7 or on the garage, the show that I ran there. Um, you also might have known that I also did um, conduct a countdown for the top 50 WA songs of all time. Um, so I uh, operated a voting system um, similar to how RTR um, did theirs um, very recently. Um, but I, I did my one in the year 2018 and uh, I aired the results um, on the community radio that I was, co community radio station that I was volunteering at at the time, which was 89.7 FM. Um, yeah, so I aired the results there on WA Day, um, which I think was in June um, might have been the first Monday of June in 2018, um, and yeah, it was an awesome night, it was a lot of fun for me, probably the most fun I've ever had doing um, radio, got a lot of interaction online when we were doing it, um, and yeah, it was just a really cool experience, and it was really cool to um, kind of have this thing that I created as an output for um, my interest in West Australian music. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video, actually, because I wanted to kind of just put that out there that, um, yeah, I actually did make a uh, top 50 WA song vote and countdown before, um, but obviously I just didn't have the reach that RTR has and, um, you know, they've been able to promote it really well um, and... Yeah, you know, which was expected, and and I definitely respect that that they have um, gained that reach over you know forty five years of um, being in the industry, obviously, and um, the community station that I was part of eighty nine point seven really kind of struggled with that. Um, they really, I personally felt like didn't really have a good reach in the um, West Australian local music scene, and um, yeah, it was definitely a challenge trying to conduct that countdown and getting as many votes as possible and as much interaction as possible when we had such a small amount of following and a smaller reach than RTR. So um, I want to talk firstly about um, this countdown that they did and also uh, I'm going to get into this a little bit later but I, I want to talk specifically about um, what I think they did wrong um, and I know some people might be turned off by this and I thought at length about whether or not I should make this video um, I thought you know people might be thinking that I'm just being overcritical and I'm being grumpy and um, you know that this 
And I agree that, you know, this 45 year celebration should be celebrated. And I really like the idea that they did, that they implemented this um, top 45 WA song countdown. Um, and yeah, when I first saw that they put that out, I was like, oh, awesome. You know, a company with a lot better reach than I had when I was trying to do it is giving it a go now. So maybe we'll get like a really accurate, really cool response to that. Um, but then when I clicked on their nomination list, I was shocked, to be honest, because, um, and this is what I'm going to get into a little later. I, I honestly could not believe how poorly put together their nomination list of WA songs and artists was. Um, and yeah, I, I know that's super critical. Um, and I, like I said, I think RTR do a lot of really good things, but, um, yeah, I, I will be getting into a little bit more further later on, um, just in, into a little bit more depth as to, um, some criticisms really about the result. Uh, well, not necessarily the result. Um, I can't really criticize the result because it was just a democratic vote. Um, but I really do think that the, uh, um, voting system that they they put in place and the nominations um, which w- was very criticizable and should have been uh, should be very criticized and um, sh- they should have fixed it also I think they had chances to fix it but didn't um, so let me get to that later I want to jump firstly into um, the results of the count so um, I, I'm looking at them right now I'm gonna put them up on the screen as well so you can see them um, and yeah, there were some interesting results here. Uh, I just want to point out a couple of things that I thought were pretty cool or surprising. Um, cause you know, obviously, um, with my count too, I had some similar results. Um, I had some different results. I'm going to, uh, also make another video and put it up straight after this one with my results of, uh, my 2018 count of the top 50 WA songs and, um, kind of just do a bit of a comparison. Um, and also I wanted to put my results out there too because I realized when I was doing some um, searching now that my old radio station um, 89.7 the article that we made on the website about the count that I conducted is no longer there so um, I want to make sure that uh, it's visible on the internet so that people know that yeah this did happen in 2018 we yeah we ran a count and um, uh, sorry we ran a an online poll um, and we conducted a countdown of the top 50 songs um, a few years before this one. So um, anyway, let's let's have a look at the results of RTR's top 45 WA songs. Um, first one that I saw in there that I thought was cool, number 44, Spacey Jane, Feeding the Family. So when I did this count, uh, it was still in the early stages of, sorry, when I did my count, it was still in the early, early stages of Spacey Jane kind of, getting into the uh, local scene. So I don't think many people voted for Spacey Jane. I'm not even sure if they were on my nomination list, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Feeding the Family got in there. I think it's definitely their best song. Um, no booster seat though, um, w- which was uh, something that I'll be talking a little bit in a minute about um, missing songs um, on their nomination list. Uh, let me get to that later. Um, okay, what else we got in here? It's cool to see some Pond in there, Verge Collection, that's cool. Um, Eskimo Joe, Planet Earth, uh, good to see that in there, obviously. I was definitely expecting to see Abby May in here, which we are seeing, because uh, I know she's a big RTR darling. And that's also something that I noticed is that, um, you know, there were big kind of like RTR darlings on this list popping up, and especially a lot higher. Um, than what uh, you would normally think they should be on the list, but because, you know, I suppose they've got bigger relationships with RTR and the RTR audience, they've popped up a little bit higher. Um, let's, what else have we got on here? So, gyroscopes on there, which is cool. The scientists pop up there a couple of times. Um, what else have we got? Ammonia's on there, cool. Dennis Cometti wax it. That's really funny to see on there, considering it's um, relatively new. But also, um, you know, it's relevant to Western Australia. Frantic Romantic uh, by the scientists at 25 was a lot lower than um, what I would have expected. I think it popped up a lot higher on my account. Um, Pendulum's on there, which is cool. David Warner from the suburbs, just a suburban boy. It's on there, but it's a lot lower than where it was in my account, actually. Um, I was actually really surprised to see how high it came in on my account back in 2018. Um, San Francisco, awkward, definitely got to be in there. Methyl ethyl's in there. Some more ammonia. 
Uh, what else? Yep, Eurogliders. That's got to be in there too. Sleepy Jackson makes an appearance. Tame Impala is in there, pushing the 10 with half full glass of wine. Awesome to see that one. Um, television Addict by the Victims is a lot higher in this one than it was in mine. It, it was in both. Um, cool to see it up there though. Stella Donnelly, sorry, Stella Donnelly at number 10 with Boys Will Be Boys. Um, interesting one here. When I did my count, it was right around when that song came out. And I kind of felt like maybe it popped up a lot higher than it should have done in my count because it was more relevant. But I mean, this is kind of proving me wrong. It shows that, you know, this song has legs, um, still around four years later, um, and even higher in this RTR count, which is really cool. And I think it's an awesome song and it's a great message, obviously. So cool to see it still sticking around in people's minds. The stems up there really high. They were in my list too. Triffids obviously have a couple of appearances and especially the number one song, which is you know, undisputably, I think the Triffids' "Wide Open Road" should definitely, definitely be the number one WA song, and it is in this count. It was in my count too. Um, From the Sea, Eskimo Joe is a bit higher in this one than it was in mine, um, but there's a specific reason for that, I guess, which I'll get to later. Tim Pilot Elephant a bit higher here too. Also, uh, the same specific reason why it's higher. Uh, now, the one, the really big one. Okay. Also, I want to say Jebediah number two, leaving home. Awesome to see. My personal favorite WA song of all time. Um, good to see it popping at number two here. But the one that was really surprising here is Kill Devil Hills at um, number three. We're drinking too much. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I know Kill Devil Hills and I, I know the song. I've listened to him a little bit. I can't say I'm a, um, a big Kill Devil Hills fan or, or anything like that. I like their music, but, um, yeah, I've just never really got into them too deeply. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know how they made it to number three. Um, one thing that I kind of experienced with my count, and I think might have happened here with the Kill Devil Hills, is that um, sometimes people kind of take advantage of these countdowns a little bit and um, try to plug something or um, they try to, what's the word I'm looking for, make it a lot higher then it should be um, illegitimately. Um, and I noticed on the, the RTR voting system, it looked like you could vote, vote multiple times without people noticing. Um, so, And I uh, had to decide when I was doing my account whether or not I wanted to allow that to happen as well. So I decided to allow that to happen um, so people, you know, you didn't have to log in. I, I just wanted it to be like an easy process to vote. Um, and... Yeah, obviously, if you mitigate that um, by stopping people from voting, voting more than once, um, it makes it easier, but it also means that it could make the vote uh, illegitimate in places where people are, uh, you know, taking the piss, essentially, and voting multiple times for one song to try and pump it up. So I have a feeling that might have happened here for the Kill Devil Hills. I know they have a strong relationship with RTR, but I just don't think that they should be the number three song. Like, I think they, I would have uh, been happy to see them at about 15 or 20. But yeah, number three is a bit high. Um, and I'm not saying that's what has happened, but that's just what I'm kind of suspicious of because I know it definitely happened in my account. And uh, like, for example, someone got on there and uh, nominated their own song that they wrote, um, which was really funny because... Um, I could see that they put their name as as who they voted, uh, you know, as like whatever their name was, like Steve Johnson or whatever. And then um, they nominated their own song. You know, it was like Song X by Steve Johnson. Uh, and they just nominated their own song like 50 times. But while they did that, they also voted for Lanterns by Birds of Tokyo like 50 times as well. And it made that look stupid in the result. So Lanterns was like crazy high. Um, but all I did though was I just had to um, mitigate that myself. So I just looked at the results and like took 50 away from Lanterns where I could tell like it was not, it was not all like fair. And I had to do that uh, a couple of times for a couple of other uh, songs as well. I did have to like kind of play around with it and uh, make sure it lo all looked fair. Um, but for the most part, it was pretty accurate to what people voted when I did the count. So anyway, some interesting results there. But 
what I want to get into now, and this is what I was talking about when I when I first started this um, recording, is that um, when I initially saw they were doing this count and poll, um, I clicked on it straight away. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll put my votes in. But I noticed there were so many obvious songs and entire artists list just missing, and and I I don't even know why. Like. It makes no sense to me. I mean, I'm going to get into this a little bit further. Um, the, the thought process that I think they went through or that they just did not even consider going through. I'm going to get through that, get to that a little bit later. But let me first just point out some of the, some of the extremely obvious omissions on their nomination list. So first off, you click on their page and you go down and you start looking at your letter, you know, it's all alphabetical order, letter A, okay, yeah, you know, you've got ammonia there, cool, let me go down, oh, I'm, I'm, I might nominate a Birds of Tokyo song, you know, they're pretty big, Birds of Tokyo, not even there, no, no Birds of Tokyo songs, I mean, they're probably in the top five of the biggest WA bands of the last 20 years, and they just didn't even put a single Birds of Tokyo song on their nomination list, for what reason? I don't know. I mean, I guess you could argue that they've moved over to Sydney or something now, but which makes them not WA, but I mean, they clearly were like, they cut their teeth here in WA. They're all WA boys um, growing up. They released their early music here in WA before anywhere else. As far as I know, I don't understand why they weren't on the list. All right, let me keep going. Bob Evans. There was no Bob Evans. Um, Bob Evans, or his proper name, Kevin Mitchell, lead singer of Jebediah, is West Australian. He's a West Australian artist, okay? He has moved over east uh, recently, I think, but he definitely is a West Australian artist in my book. He wasn't on the list. Okay. Um, John Butler Trio. He lives here still. Uh, As far as I know, he's pretty much mostly released music as a WA artist. Um, he's a WA artist. Why was John Butler or the John Butler Trio not nominated at all? I don't understand. Okay, uh, Johnny Diesel and the Injectors. Um, I would understand not nominating Diesel because he he definitely did move to the Eastern States to start his solo career, but the Injectors stuff is local WA music. I can't deny that. No... No injectors on there. Okay, now this one has to be the most glaring. Carnival. Why was there no Carnival songs on the nomination list? It just made no sense to me at all. I mean, everything that I just... All the artists that I went through before, I could kind of see, like, a tie to the Eastern States, maybe. But I would still, like, count them all as WA artists. Carnival... There's none. They're a WA artist... They're the, like, biggest metal prog rock out... The, the biggest metal and prog rock, prog rock um, band we've ever had from Western Australia. And they're massive all over Australia, and they're pretty big all over the world for a, for a prog rock band and a metal band and a WA band. And they're definitely WA music. Why weren't they on there? There was pretty much minimal, if not any, metal on this list at all. That goes with the next one on my list, Make Them Suffer. There was no Make Them Suffer on this list. Okay, there was also, there was some like really big recent acts in the electronic scene who were WA artists that were not on this list. There was no Shock One on this list. There was no Slumberjack on this list. I mean, and let me just reiterate, I'm not talking like in the results. I'm talking on the nomination list. Why was there, why are none of these artists on the nomination list? This makes no sense to me. There was no Tired Lion on the nomina- nomination list. Okay, another one that I guess you could say they moved over to Queensland. Well, oh, she moved over to Queensland. But, I mean, everything they've put out up until their last album is WA music. Troy Savan was not on the list. Okay. He is a WA artist. He literally made his music... In his bedroom in Perth. Okay. He's a WA artist. Why wasn't he on the list? 
I know he's not like he's not had the same like um, cutting his teeth in the local music scene here in Perth, and he went all through the internet and went all over the world with his stuff that was like more poppy. But he's a WA artist. Why wasn't he on the, on the list? There was no Voyager on the list, another metal band who've been, actually been kind of big in the media lately because they've been trying to get on Eurovision, but they weren't on there. Um, and hip-hop and rap was also pretty minimal. A uh, big one that I noticed was not on there, Ziggy Ramo. And I'm not even that big into hip-hop. Um, but Ziggy, Ziggy Ramo wasn't on there. He's big. Okay, I mean, if you're hearing this and you're just feeling like I'm whinging or something, and you're like... Oh, you know, what's he going on? This doesn't matter. I mean, I'm passionate about WA music, okay? I'm really passionate about it. And that's part of the reason why I made this channel. Um, And it's part of the reason why I'm being so critical. Because these are glaring mistakes. And it completely tarnished the results of this count. And it made them just look ridiculous. So... I mean, that's where I'm coming from, okay? It it really upset me to see that they did such a bad job with their nomination list and made the list look so silly. So, um, let me just go back to um, talking a little bit about the count that I did. And look, I'm not doing, I'm not saying this to blow my own trumpet um, or to make to say that I was better than RTL or that I'm better than them or that I know more than them. I'm not saying that at all because I know for a fact there's definitely people at RTR who know way more about WA music than I do because they've been around way longer in the scene. You know, I, I'm not I'm not that old and I'm, I'm not that versed in it. I have just studied up on my own time and had my own passions about it, okay? But this is the process that I went through when I came up with this idea of doing this count a few years ago and and how I made it, in my opinion, uh, work a fair bit better than than this count and, and this poll. So I came up with this idea and I approached some of the other people at my station who I thought would want to get involved um, in helping out with this. So in, in the year before, actually, in 2017, I said, on WA Day, how about we do a top 50 WA songs of all time? Um, and I said, I'd be cool if we did a vote. And then a couple of the people like, there said, oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea. We just don't have the time to organize it right now. How about we just come up with it ourselves and put it out there? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's still a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. Um, let's do that. And that's what we did in 2017. We just kind of came up with it ourselves, put it out there. To be honest, we didn't put a lot of thought into it. We kind of rushed it, but it still, you know, it was a relatively good list in my opinion of what I thought the best WA songs were. Um, and then that gave me like a whole year to prepare to make the uh, the poll for the next year where people could vote and we could get like a, a proper result from a democratic view of what people voted for as the best WA songs. So um, when it started getting close to June in 2018, I think I maybe, you know, did a couple of months preparation. What I did was um, I approached these people again and said, hey, want to do this WA, uh, top 50 WA songs of all time count um, let's make a nomination list, uh, so we can put it out there and people can get voting. And a couple other guys, um, Gavin and Steven, I'll give them a shout out. Awesome dudes. Um, one of them still at 89.7 and he is an awesome guy doing his thing there. Gavin, also, uh, awesome dude, um, doing his own thing now, uh, at, you know, at a few other stations and his show, his podcast, BRL, check it out. If you get the chance and you like hip hop from WA, uh, awesome dudes, both know heaps about WA music, um, and we basically just kind of got together, um, we wrote down a list, you know, of all the WA artists we could think of from all the generations, from now all the way back to like the 70s, the 60s, a little bit, I guess, and we don't have that much that much WA music in the 60s that I know of, but um, yeah, we tried to get as far back as we could, we tried to just make it uh, all-encompassing as possible, all genres, and yeah, I mean, I, I felt like we just put a lot of effort into that into that list to make it look good so that people had lots to choose from there. So then we put it up about a month before when we were going to hold the count and said, okay, everyone, go out and vote. Um, this is for the top 50 WA songs. 
Now, it was, it was my goal to get about 1,000 people to vote. What we ended up getting was about 780. So I didn't quite reach my goal, but still did pretty good. And it, it, got, it got a pretty good result. So it made it look as though, um, you know, the results were legitimate when I looked at it because, you know, there were songs that had lots of votes. There were songs that had some votes. And then there were songs that kind of all just had like a bunch of around the same votes. But it evened out to a top 50 pretty well. Um, and then the other thing that happened when we put this out, um, which I was half expecting was, um, you know, people said, um, when they wanted to vote, they would, you know, comment online or message and say, oh, you know, um, this song's missing. What about this song? Uh, and this happened like a handful of times. Um, and I know this is kind of like what I'm saying about RTR right now, but you know, not to the extent of like about 15 huge artists that I just listed off from their list that was missing. It was, you know, like a, a song here or there. Um, and some people said like, oh, you know, there's a lot missing here. Um, but they never really like named any to me specifically. If people named specific songs to me um, that they wanted nominated or specific artists, I was like, all right, cool. And I put it on the nomination list. Um, and, you know, I was willing to accept feedback. So... Um, and I felt that that, um, helped create this nomination list, um, to be, you know, successful because it was what people wanted. Um, and I felt it was pretty all encompassing. I mean, it was never going to be possible for us to know every song that should be on there, but I think, you know, we probably, in my opinion, did a good enough job to get like at least 90 to 95% of what should have been on that list. I would say RTR probably got maybe like 80% at best of what should have been on that list. So, I mean, and this this is what it all comes back to to me. Um, okay, RTR have been around for 45 years. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Well done for being around that long. You're a good organization. You're doing some good stuff for the, for the WA local scene. Uh, if you want to do this, if you want to conduct a vote for the top 45 WA songs of all time and you're passionate about WA music, which I know you are and you you say you are, can you please just put the effort in to make it look correct? Because it's obvious that the people running this just didn't even try. It's To me, it's obvious that they literally came up with the idea and they just maybe sat there for one hour and just said, oh, uh, this one's coming into my mind, put that in. Okay, this one's coming into my mind, put that in. Um, and they just completely forgot about some artists. And it just looks terrible, okay? Um, if you wanted to do this properly, you know, it just needed to have some more time put into it and more people just needed to like look over it and make sure that it was correct. And the, the other thing, you know, that I was just saying before with my count, I was willing to like put nominations on there that people said I miss, you know, I was, I was willing to do that. People were commenting on RTR's post saying, where is carnival? And it had like 20 likes and they just didn't even put it on there. It would have taken them like a minute to be like, Oh, you know what? Actually, we forgot to put Carnival on. Let me just write that in now. It's going to look kind of silly. Okay. So I think they kind of might have realized when they were doing this that it was going to take a lot of work to make it look good. So in their minds, what they did to like cover their tracks and to uh, just not put the work in, they just put this little thing underneath the title of the top 45 WA songs vote now saying completely subjective somewhat accurate I'm like no it's not it's not subjective if it's a democratic vote like that's the result you know I know everyone's got a different opinion of what uh, the best WA song is to a degree but like that's part of voting it's to see like who has who people vote for the most so, to me, like, that, like, subtitle they put on was just a cop-out. A complete cop-out. And they also, on the bottom 
of their nomination list had a little box where you could write in a song that they that you wanted to be nominated and they said something there like oh if 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 we were silly and we forgot one um write it here and i was like uh you didn't forget one you forgot like 50 okay there should be like 50 boxes here so how am i going to vote for like these other songs that i wanted to vote for that aren't on your list because you've only allowed me to vote for one that's not on your list so i mean you can probably tell this is just turning into a bit of a rant but i feel like this is this is necessary to say and i mean the other big problem which i haven't even got to yet was the artists that they did nominate i can't even i can't even describe how stupid it was to just nominate like two songs for the big artists like why did that happen and they didn't even nominate the biggest songs like in my results that i had for example um black fingernails red wine by eskimo joe i think it came like third or something it wasn't even on the nomination list and it's their clearly their biggest song tame impala was on there they put two tame impala songs i think it was half full glass of wine and elephant their biggest two songs are the less i know the better and feels like it only goes backwards they weren't on there in my list they both came in the top 10 i think and and why weren't they on the nomination list i don't know maybe they just didn't want specific artists to be dominating the count or something so they thought oh you know we'll only put two tame and parlor songs we'll only put two eskimo joe songs we'll only put two trifford songs on it just completely delegitimized what they made frustrating as hell i'm sorry but i really wanted to put this out there i feel like it needed to be said from you know someone who is passionate about wa music um i feel like there were probably other people out there like me who are passionate about wa music and saw the nomination list and was like this is a mess um but yeah look i don't know how people are going to respond to this i know some people might not like what i'm saying because i know some people really like rtr and they might just think you know oh they were putting in a good effort it's about celebrating wa music which i agree with you know it is a good celebration but if you're going to take the time to do this and you're going to put yourself out there and you have the reach and the potential to get such a good audience that you have can you please just do it properly that's that's the point of me making this video i just want i just wanted to say that that they just did not do it properly and it really disappointed me all right i'm gonna leave it there um thanks for sticking around to all the way to the end if you did um i completely understand if you didn't but i really do think that my opinion here is valid um i think that rtr did a very bad job of running this count with their nomination list um the results were interesting it's cool to see that people voted the way they did um and that wa music was at the forefront of something happening in the small media that we have here in perth but at the end of the day um it was a it was disappointingly organized um and i'm gonna leave it there all right thanks for checking this video out everyone i'm also going to upload the um some more in-depth results about my count from 2018 because i want it to be out there on the web for people to see um because i feel like i mean and this is not because i think i know more about wa music than rtr like i said i just feel like me and the guys that made this one uh went through a better process of organizing it and it looks a lot more accurate so i want to put it out there to be on the internet for people to see i'm going to upload that to youtube too check that one out if you're interested um so yeah thanks for checking this out everyone if you want to hear more about wa music and my opinions um then please feel free to subscribe and i'll see you again soon see ya